it's a very special place. There's nothing like it in Savannah. It's considered a stunning renovation of the 100-year-old mansion on the inside as well as the outside, with a front door that was here in 1919 when the structure was built by George Armstrong. Now a century later, it's come full circle. The enthusiasm, frankly, of what people have said to me about the major renovation we've done and really saving a treasure has been overwhelming. I, I didn't anticipate that. Richard Kessler, who was born in Savannah, is coming home in a big way. In the 30s, this building was a college and then later a law office. Now he's renovated it to be a private residence again. It won't be open to the public, but he hopes many will still appreciate the importance of preserving the building. So everyone that comes to Savannah and all the Savannah citizens, when they walk by, they can look at it and say, Wow, you know, that's my city. It worked. Yeah. City leaders were in hand for a ribbon cutting, marking the beginning of a new era for what is now the Armstrong Kessler Mansion. We've got something that sets, again, sets a standard uh, that is iconic in, in what it represents. Many think the mansion may become symbolic in terms of making history somehow new again and provide more emphasis to Forsyth Park, which is just across the street. I think Mr. Armstrong would be pleased because we make it made it better in some places. Sitting on six city lots, Kessler says making this place special was a dream for not just him, but he hopes for the city itself. Uh, it's been a long journey, tremendous amount of detail that went into this, tremendous amount of thought, a lot of people involved, and the culmination is what you see. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.